What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be going over some of the top hidden features that you're gonna find in iOS 13. And I wanted to make this video a little bit shorter than my previous video because I know that last one was pretty long. But if you guys haven't seen it, it is 100 plus features in iOS 13. So if you guys are looking for basically a complete walkthrough of iOS 13, be sure to check the link in the description below and check that out. But this video is gonna be a whole lot more concise and more straight into the point. So let's get right into it. The first one I wanna talk about is faster scrolling. So this is gonna work in pretty much any application that you have to scroll, which is a lot of applications. So first of all, let's just do it in settings here. Ooh, it crashed settings, let's do it again. So basically you can see there's a little scroll bar right there. And if actually, if you hold on it, it's gonna get bigger and you can scroll a whole lot faster just by grabbing that and pulling it up and down. Now you can do this in Safari as well. So if we open up Safari, you can see there's a little scroll bar right there. So if we start to scroll, you can grab it. It'll give a little haptic feedback. And then you can see you can scroll so much quicker. So that's gonna make things a whole lot easier in terms of navigating different types of applications and you can basically get through the entire thing just with a single swipe. Next up is Haptic Touch. And what Haptic Touch does is give you the exact same ability that you have with 3D Touch on older devices. So if you have an older device that doesn't have 3D Touch, you're gonna get that exact same functionality that you would get with 3D Touch. So in this example, this is actually an iPhone 10, so it's gonna be using 3D Touch right now, but it works in the exact same way. You would just basically press hard on an application and it's going to pop up the 3D touch menu, and that's what it's going to do with haptic touch as well. So if you're on an older device, give it a shot. You can do this on anywhere that you can use 3D touch. So it doesn't have to be just on applications. It could be you know, on links inside of iOS 13. You can do the peak feature inside of your photos, all that good stuff. So a nice little addition. Now, the next one I wanna talk about is this cool new QR code animation. You have to do this from the control center, and I actually did a screen recording so I don't have to move the phone around and scan a QR code, but you can see right here, if I just tap play, you can see this nice little animation, and it brings you straight to whatever that you know QR code link was. Also, shameless plug, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, you can do that, it'd be awesome. I'd love you for it. But it's little animations like this that really make you feel good about using iOS. The same thing for, you know, this mute switch that you can see right here. You'll get a little animation up at the top for silent mode off and then silent mode on. I love these little things. Now keep in mind for the QR code animation, you do have to do that from your control center. So you'll wanna add your QR code scanner right here. And then this is the one that's going to give you the animation. You can't do it from your camera app because it's just gonna give you a little pop-up, a banner notification that you'll have to click on. But if you do it from the control center, then this will work. Next, we have a new look when you tap and hold on links to preview what that link is going to. So for instance, if we wanted to just tap and hold on this all, you can see you get a nice little preview of what that link's going to do or where it's going to take you. And then you have all of your options right down here. So you can open in a new tab, you can download linked file, add to reading list, copy or share it. So if you wanna get rid of it, you can just swipe down just like that and it goes away. So a nice little feature. Next, let's talk about the search in messages. This is a really nice upgrade from what we had in iOS 12. It's still lacking, uh, in my opinion, by a lot, but I can get into that in another video. But for the most part, it is a welcome change. You can see right here, if I go ahead and tap on search, it's gonna give some conversations right here where you share links and photos and everything. Right down here, you can see these are all different links that were sent by different people and you can see who sent them and you can tap on see all if you wanna go through all of those and you also have your photos right down here. So it makes things just a whole lot more organized where you're not having to scroll through everything in order to see attachments or to see photos and you're not getting that annoying issue where when you're scrolling it would just like completely scroll all the way to the top and not load attachments, not load pictures. This just looks a whole lot nicer and it's gonna make things a whole lot easier when searching for pictures or attachments. Next, you can share entire folders with people, which is pretty nice. So for instance, if we go out of here and let's just go to our folders and if we swipe all the way to the left, you can see there's a little share button, tap on that and it's going to allow you to share or add people to share this folder with. Next, you have the ability to automatically close tabs. So you can see this little menu that pops up right here. It says Safari can automatically close your tabs after one day, one week, or one month. So if you have a ton of tabs that you don't manage very well by yourself, then you can use this option. So you can just tap one of these and it's going to do that. I'm just gonna do don't close automatically just because if I wanted to close all my applications or all my tabs, you can just tap and hold on the new tabs button and then tap close all tabs. 
Now, another really cool feature is being able to take screenshots of the entire website or the entire application that you're in. So for instance, if we went into Safari and we wanted to take a screenshot here, you can see if we go ahead and open this up, there's another tab right up here at the top that says full page. If you tap on that, you can see it actually took a screenshot of everything on this page all the way down. So that's really awesome. You used to have a separate application in order to do this. Now it's built in to iOS 13. You also don't have to shake your device anymore to undo. You can just do a simple three finger tap and it's going to give you a menu right there. So you can cut, copy, paste, or you can undo right from the menu right there. So now let's take a look at the iPad. One of the cool things that you can do with the iPad is if you go into an application like Safari and you get a iMessage, you can actually just press down on the uh, notification banner right up there and then pull it down into a split view. So that's really nice. That way you don't have to just quickly reply. If you wanna pull the entire application over to the side of the iPad, you can do that. Next is being able to zip or unzip files. So if we go into the files app, which I have right here, you can see if we just press on this, it's going to give you the ability to uncompress it. So we'll just tap on that and it's going to unzip it. Now, I don't actually have access to this. This was just a test zip file, but you can now unzip files and you can also zip them just doing the exact same thing. So if you press down and hold it, you get your options. There's going to be a compress button where that uncompressed button is if it's not zipped. Now, another really nice one is being able to access all your Wi-Fi networks and Bluetooth devices directly from your control center. So if you just press just right there, you can see you can quickly change your Wi-Fi depending on what's available right there. You don't have to go into the settings, but if you do need to get into the settings, you can tap right there. Same thing for Bluetooth. This of course is going to work on the iPhone as well, not just the iPad. Now another cool feature on iPadOS is being able to run multiple instances of the exact same application. So you can do that with Safari, Instagram, Twitter, maybe you have multiple accounts that you wanna monitor. Um, you can basically do it inside of any application, even, even Maps. So if you open up Maps, if you wanted to add a, a split view of Maps and have the exact same thing open up, you can see all you would do is just pull it over here and then you have two maps open. It's like pimp my maps. Yo, I heard you like maps, dog. So open up maps and we can put some more maps inside your maps. And obviously you can, uh, I'm so sorry about that. You can obviously swipe this over, but you have the instances separate from one another. And if you wanted to close one out, boom. Actually, that just does picture in picture, I lied. But you can, you can uh, there's a way to close this. If you, there we go, I did it. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully you found at least one or two new things that you didn't know about before watching this video. If you guys have some hidden features that I don't know about, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to check them out. If you guys want to see more of these hidden feature videos, just let me know by hitting that like button and I'll get some more out. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.